Here in Australia, one of the government departments that is very much corrupt is called Human Services. They will file false reports to the Child Abuse Report Line, who then file false reports to Child Protection Services, who then file false reports to the police. Now, Human Services are well known for the corruption in their office. They have many times over the years have filed false reports and have illegally removed children from their families. And these children have been placed up for an adoption. And these families I'm talking about are Aboriginal families. Now, Scott Morrison admitted last year that he knew what was going on and all he could do was say, in the words of my predecessor, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't change what they are doing. Now, a lot of people are aware of the stolen generation here in Australia, but what they don't realise is that it continued. It never stopped. Now, here is what Scott Morrison supposed apology Children forcibly removed from parents. Mothers chasing after police cars that had their that taken their children. Siblings separated. Adoptions without consent. Forced servitude. Welfare institutions. Cruel, devoid of warmth, love or care. Parents searching for lost children. Grief. Trauma. Endless pain that cascaded through generations. All action by the state, the state that seized absolute control over Aboriginal people's lives, where they could live, where they could travel, who they could marry, and what children, if any, they could raise. Actions of brute force carried out under claims of good intentions, but in truth betrayed the ignorance of arrogance, knowing better than our Indigenous peoples. In acknowledging that fact, I repeat the words of my predecessor, Mr. Rudd. I am sorry. sorry if they were sorry this wouldn't be still happening thanks for watching like comment and subscribe bye